Hey guys, it's Anne. Welcome to the channel. If you are new here and you are looking for a active worm farming community, you are in the right place. Today what we are going to do is we're going to take my DIY stacked system that the Red Wigglers are in and then we are going to wait for it. I will be transferring the population in progress with the food and bedding to a brand new fancy Worm Factory 360. It came with four trays, but I went ahead and ordered two more, which is the maximum that you're supposed to have with these. And uh, it is going to have a smaller footprint than the DIY system at only 18 inches square. And when full, each one of those trays should be only 13 pounds. So let's take a look at it. It came with some bedding and with, has some pumice and some rock dust. Comes with a thermometer, a little scrapey fork thing. I'm assuming that this is some sort of a, a wedge to scrape the castings off the side. Then you have your little brick of coconut coir. And to tell you the truth, I don't really know what this is because it didn't come with any directions. But, you know, I'll probably go look on the website and see what I'm supposed to do with this. I don't know if this is for the drain or, or what I'm doing. Because it did come with a drain for the bottom. But I don't usually let mine get that wet, so uh, it'll be just in case. We are going to install it because otherwise the worms could just jump out through the hole. And we know my worms do what they want, so we better give them some place to hide when they do what they want. Okay, so first things first, we have to uh, put this drain piece in here. And it's got a little uh, rubber grommet here to keep it watertight. And because I've seen these things before, I'm just going to assume that it goes together like other things where you just put the screw on one side and the spigot goes on the other. And I'll show you as soon as I get it tightened up here. So there you go. Make that, you know, make sure it's level before you tighten it up all the way. And then we have a worm ladder here, which is uh, supposed to help the worms who decide to get all the way down in the bottom here uh, make their way back up. I'm going to use a little bit of insurance here, and I'm going to put a little bit of bedding in here because I don't trust it. <laughs> Experience tells me that the worms are going to get down there and they're not as smart as this ladder and they might get stuck and die and since they're my little worm babies, I try and keep them alive. So here we go. We're going to put a little bit of that in there. Next up, we are going to take a page out of Patrick's book and we're going to put some just dried cardboard um, in this particular tray all the way in the bottom so that it can soak up the juices and it can kind of marinate and also not let the liquid down in the bottom just in case. I'm gonna put this one up here with regular bedding so that when they decide to leave the castings they're inhabiting right now, they'll have something that's kind of familiar for them to go to. Okay, so now comes the part where I'm kind of going off normal contention because I have an entire uh, red wiggler bin that needs to leave where it's at right now because it's breaking. So now I'm going to have to kind of do something weird which is to put empty trays and then put in progress items. Let me know in the comments below if you think I should switch the order of these bins uh, for those of you that have these uh, professional stack systems but what I'm going to try and do is put them in an order that makes sense to where they will leave and go into the bedding. And to me, that makes sense that the worms will probably migrate down. I know they're supposed to migrate up, but I've not ever noticed that. So those of you who have these systems, let me know. So first of all, I'm gonna put in an empty tray and then we're gonna start filling it up with the red, red wiggler um, population and leftover food and stuff. The first tray I'm gonna put down here on top of this is going to be my nearly finished tray. If you guys are enjoying this content, why not hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you will be notified whenever it is that I'm doing worm-related shenanigans in the wormery or out in my yard as I am right now. Also, hit the thumb button. So you can tell that it is, is really almost done here 
and maybe I could have done a light harvest, but there's still quite a bit of stuff and worms for that matter in here. So if they will go down into the material below, that would make me happy. But it is really, really wet. So that's probably why the worms aren't moving currently. Okay, so that was the bottom layer of the DIY system. Now I'm going to put the, the next layer in the next layer. This is also really kind of wet and finished. If I find anything large, I'm gonna save that for the top. Okay, so now I'm going to put the least finished of the trays on top. Okay, so I've run out of room, so I do have one more tray and that's gonna be new bedding, what's left over in the top tray, and then the new food. Okay, so now for the, the bedding. Okay, so now I'm gonna get these guys fed. They haven't had anything to eat in about three or four weeks. So I'm gonna give them my canning leftovers, nice and sopping wet uh, tomatoes and onions and peppers, and uh, looks like some bananas as well. So this will be a really big feeding and it might take them a while to get into it. This is where I hope the, uh, the drier layers below will actually work for me. Please put in the comments if you think that uh, I should switch the order of these because I really have no idea what I'm doing other than overfilling it, which I seem to be doing. I think I've got too much on there. And I'm used to going horizontal, not vertical. All right, so aside from putting the lid on, here we are, my new worm, uh, worm Factory 360. And I do have a link for this in the comments below should you want to get the same thing that I have. Also, there are Amazon links for pretty much everything that I use in my wormery in the description below. Okay, so if you like this video, the Red Wigglers, or if you're a fan of Red Wigglers, I have a whole playlist that is for Red Wigglers that is right over there. And if you've already seen that video, YouTube thinks you're gonna like this right over here. All right, guys, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and everybody, have a good day.